Wall Street could change the game for Bitcoin again. A new product from Wall Street could change the game for Bitcoin in 2019. And, perhaps, help its price to rise again. Wall Street is seeking regulatory approval of a new Bitcoin's futures contact. It could help reduce the price volatility of the digital currency. That's according to a recent story published North Friday's Wall Street Journal. Launched by the Intercontinental Exchange, the new contract will be settled in bitcoins rather than in dollars. Reducing the price volatility will pave the way for the digital currency to be accepted as a means of payment in everyday transactions. Like the buying of coffee in Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts outlets. If approved, these contracts will be a bullish development for the EOPOL's currency. Starbucks and Dunkin' brands have been alking about accepting bitcoins instead of dollars in their stores. Apparently, Accepting Bitcoin as a form of payment for their products will fuel a great deal of buzz for the two franchises. That's especially the case among young consumers enchanted with the digital currency. This isn't the first time Wall Street has tried to change the game for Bitcoin. Last year, Wall Street introduced its first Bitcoin futures contracts. But those contracts were settled in dollars rather than in Bitcoin. Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, and any other merchants concerned about this prospect can short Bitcoin futures. This means that any losses in the spot market will be made up in the futures market. Meanwhile, Wall Street has introduced other products that allow broader investor participation in the Bitcoin market, like the Bitcoin Investment Trust. All these products could help the digital currency up from the Nervator and early adopter stage in the Rogers curve, to the early majority. That's when demand for a product turns into a cascade, and the product becomes an epidemic. And that would be good news for Bitcoin bulls as in pandemic means higher Bitcoin prices, especially since Bitcoin is in limited supply. Provided, of course, that big governments, big banks, and fraud do not spoil the party again. The next leg of the Bitcoin crash is here. If it's not the stock market crashing, it's Bitcoin. When asset instruments crash, they go down in stages. Stages are price ranges when the asset stops and maintains a level of stability before they reprice again to another level. Many markets do this on the way up as well as down. Once a market has stabilized, the next break away from that range is highly likely to produce a sizable move. For a trader this offers a market neutral signal that can be jumped on, long or short. It is not a new phenomena or rocket science. Markets are consensus-seeking devices in the short term and that consensus is revealed in charts and gives a clear view of the past. The less efficient and perfect a market is, the more charts give a hint of the future and in my mind crypto is a very immature market filled with inefficiencies and imperfections. As such, charts of price action in Bitcoin and other coins and tokens are a good tool in the alchemy of guessing what is going to unfold in this exciting and dangerous market. So Bitcoin looks to be breaking south for the next leg down. Forgive me for making such brave unhedged calls. I can't be right all the time but as far as I'm concerned it's highly likely we are about to drop quickly towards my $2,500 target. Here is the chart as I write, it is a high probability that this harmless looking spike down is the start of another drop. Let's look closer, you can see volatility has exploded at the current level, a sign of increased uncertainty in the generally bearish state but you can also see today's action suggesting a drop out of this recent trend. If this fall continues then we are off towards the final capitulation. When will we know we are at the final bottom? When everyone is screaming the end of Bitcoin and then after an extended period of basing. This means we can wait and see. The end of this crash will look awful, the ends of crashes always do. That is yet to come but the next leg could be here. 